Hey, what's up, everyone? Happy Monday. Hope everyone's doing well. And uh, I'm excited to share with you some social media marketing tips today because that is a big part of your business uh, and how you guys can succeed in your business in real estate. So everyone, please say hello in the chat box. Let everyone know who you are and where you do business. Candice, good morning. All right, and while everyone is rolling in, I'm going to go over some announcements. Okay, so once again, the referral reward promotion is happening right now. Okay, and so if you refer someone, if you refer three people who joined Park Bench before September 30th, okay, between July 1st and September 30th, if you refer three people, then you get your next year for free. All right, huge promotion. Okay, um, number two promotion that's happening this month, if you complete 30 interviews in 30 days, so if we see 30 interviews posted on your website in a 30-day span ending no later than September 30th, then you get $1,000 off your renewal. We really want more agents to do more interviews because we know it works. We want more clients to get results, to inspire more clients to do lots of interviews. So we have that promotion in place to encourage you all to do more. And then... Uh, number three announcement is I'm going to be coming out with, so hopefully you guys have seen the interviews that I have done of three Park Bench uh, local leaders. They're on YouTube right now. They're on the Park Bench YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Park Bench TV. If you go to that YouTube channel, you will see two, the third one's in post-production right now, two interviews one of Ashley Colgate, one of Pam Jungie, okay? And you will learn a ton. The whole point of these interviews is so that you can learn what their experiences was like, the challenges they face, the goals that they had, the reason why they signed up, how they are doing it, how they're successful at it, the benefits they've received in it, so that you can learn from them and, and also relate to them and know that, hey, the people who are crushing this, the people who are doing really well with this, the people who are building their brand, building their business through this. It's not like they're perfect. They're just regular people. They had challenges along the way. Um, and I want you to be able to see that. And so I'm actually continuing that series. I'm going to be coming out with more interviews of Park Bench clients. So in the chat box right now, if you think you can share a lot of value to the Park Bench community, about your experiences and about you know why you signed on, the challenges that you faced when you first signed on, how you started to do it well, how you're having success from it, so that other people can learn from you, learn from your mistakes, learn from your best practices. Um, if you think you can share a story um, and you want to be interviewed, then say so in the chat box, uh, and I'll reach out to you. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put in the chat box right now uh, where these interviews are posted. Uh oh, Where's my mouse here? All right, youtube.com slash parkbenchtv. Check out these interviews. They are awesome. Um, if you want to be interviewed and featured because you think you've got great information to share to help other people um, be successful uh, with Park Bench, then please Say so in the chat box. I'd love to interview you. Good morning, Debbie and Irene. Hello. Marsha Perry from Denver. Pat, hello. All right, look at this. Did my first interview. Kate, how was your first interview? How did you feel when before you did it, and how did you feel after it? Write that in the chat box. How did you, What was going through your mind before it, and what is going through your mind now after it is done? Um, Santiago, Yauza, yes. All right, I want a great promotion to encourage more people to do 30 interviews in 30 days. I did 
45 in five days. So I know it's possible as busy as we all are as entrepreneurs. Okay, I ran my business and I did these interviews all at the same time. Um, so I know it's possible. You just need to do it. You just need a proper plan to do it. A process, a system. That's how you get lots done. Okay, so if you have any questions, so today we're talking about social media. So if you have any questions, I want this to be interactive. Okay, so you can ask me questions. I will answer them. Any question regarding social media, it could be social media with relation to Park Bench, it could be social media just in relation to your entire business. If you have questions about social media, put that in the chat box. Um, and I'm going to ask some questions today so that hopefully we all can mastermind and contribute a bunch of information to help us all with social media. I know I knew nothing about social media. I still don't know very much about social media, um, but I know a whole lot more now that I've just been doing it. Now that I've been doing it for myself, now that I've been working with social media experts, um, I have learned a lot about social media, and I'm going to share that with you to help you with it. All right. So before I get into some tactical stuff, all right, about social media, I first want you guys to look at some statistics because I can tell you I am, I am the poster child for I don't need social media, okay? I'm the poster child for uh, I hate social media. I don't want to do it. I don't like doing it. I don't like posting it on it. I, I am that person, okay? And I wish I didn't think like that a whole lot earlier. I am now getting over it. I am now doing a whole lot more on social media. I am now seeing the benefits of it. And I wish I got into it sooner. I wish I was not so stubborn. Who can relate? I wish I was not so stubborn. Okay, because the statistics are just flat in front of my face saying, I got to do it. And you got to do it. Look at this statistic. Okay, if you are targeting millennials, if you would like to do business with people aged 18 to 34, you must, it's not even like a, like a maybe, you must be on social media because they're all on social media. 95% are likely to follow and work with a brand if they're on social media. So if you would like to work with millennials, because you know that they're the buyers of this world, okay, they're the largest generation, then you've got to be on it. Okay, so I want you all, if you have a pen and paper, okay, if you have a pen and paper, taking notes today, I want you to write down, I must be on social media because I want to work with millennials. If that is can relate to you, write that down. Now, even though I just said millennials, it's everybody. Yes, there is less baby boomers on social media than there are millennials, but everyone and their grandma and great grandma is pretty much on social media. Look at this statistic. 3.3 billion people are on social media. That is 42% of the global population. Okay, so yes, there's less Gen Xers and baby boomers and on social media, but there's still 40 to 60 percent of these age groups on social media and when you look at where people are spending their time okay as a realtor there's a few things that you need to be there's there's a few places you need to be you need to be in your in in their minds okay you need to be in their house you need to be on their phone and you need to be in their mailbox. Those are the places that you need to be. And first and foremost, you need to be in their mind. Second, you need to find a way to be in their house. 
And the interviews are a fantastic way. Uh, Ashley Colgate talks about how she interviews homeowners. Like you all should pick a small geographic area in the area that you own in Park Bench. You should all pick an area with 200 homes, 500, you know, 50 to 100 homes. And you should interview as many of the homeowners as possible. Work in a cul-de-sac. Get that cul-de-sac done or that little gated community. Get it done. Interview as many people as possible and then move on to the next gated community and call the sack and just chip your way through that those communities inside the big giant park bench area that you have. Okay, so you want to be in their minds. You want to be in their house. The next best place to be, in fact, some would argue before their house, you want to be in their phone. People, people spend the most amount of time in their phone. They don't, they don't even spend the majority of their time with their family, with their work workers. They spend the majority of their time on their phone, okay? And that's social media, okay? So if you want more brand exposure, write this down. If you're writing notes, if I want more brand exposure to any demographic, I must be on social media. If you want brand awareness and exposure to any demographic, at an affordable price, you must be on social media. If you want that, you gotta be on social media. Take a look at this statistic. Okay, and Candace, I'm gonna respond to your comment in a sec. All right, if any of you guys have questions about social media, put that in the chat box and I will get to it at some point today. Look at the statistic on the screen. On the screen. 71% of consumers who had a good social media experience means they liked your posts, they commented on your posts, they DM'd you or were talking to you through direct message on Facebook or Instagram or whatever the platform is, they are likely to recommend you to other people. 71%. So your goal should be to talk to as many people as possible on social media. Ashley Colgate, Alyssa DeLeon, Pam Jungi, the number one way that they book their interviews, Facebook direct message. The number one way they book their interview, Facebook direct message. All of you should be every single day sending out 5, 10, 15, 20 direct messages every single day. Just get into this rhythm every day. Direct message, people on social media. Hey, my name is Kate. I'm the ambassador for this new local website. I'd love to get to know you and feature you on it for free. Do you want to be featured? Hey, my name is Candice. I am the ambassador and sponsor for this new website for the community. And it's all about shopping local and keeping people up to date with what's going on in the community. And I would love to, um, one of the initiatives I'm doing is interviewing locals and featuring them so we can all get to know each other. Would you like to be featured? Hey, my name is Andrea, and there is a newsletter. Hey, buddy. Um, as you may have noticed, I am the ambassador for this new local website, and there is a newsletter that goes out every week with recent news, upcoming events, hot new deals, the interviews that I do about people in the community, and homes for sale. Would you like to be on the list? These are short little bite-sized messages you should be sending out, direct message, every single day. Block time off in your calendar every single day. Send out one of these messages and you will build more relationships. You will book more interviews. You will build your brand. You will build your business. And like the people that we've been interviewing, having their best year ever. Who here in the chat box? Who here is having their best year ever? Say so in the chat box. Who here is having their best year ever? And why do you think that is? If you're having your best year ever, write in the chat box if you're having your, that you are and why you're having your best year ever. Okay. Candace asks a question. All right. So before we begin, okay, I'm going to answer Candace's questions. She has difficulty after the interview is posted and shared how to get the interviewed ones to continue to use the website. So put yourself in their shoes. Okay, why would they use the website? If they're a business, you know, we know on paper it's free 
marketing platform for them to promote their products, their services, their events, their deals, their sales, their specials. They can put up their photos. They can put up their hours. They can put up links to all their website, their social media. They can do all this stuff and it's all free. Ask yourself this question. Why wouldn't they do it? Why aren't they doing it? It's free. It's easy to use. It's easier than Facebook. We have lots of businesses using it. Why is a business not doing it? It's time. They think that websites take time because they're used to platforms taking time to use. So we have to address that and make it easy for them to say, hey, let's just set your website up. Let's set your profile up on Parkbench. Let's put some deals up and then you can forget about it. Let me help you get it set up. Give me the information. I will tell uh, Parkbench to put it up for you. And then they will put it up and then you can forget about it. And if you need to change something, you can just log in and do it in a minute, or you can just email Parkbench and they'll do it for you. So you have to make the use of the website sound really easy and set it and forget it. That's the key, set it and forget it. Because the, once they put up a coupon for a review, this is the key. If you want more people to use the website, you have to get this one feature used by lots of businesses. It's the coupon for a review, a review pawn. All right. And so the way I used to do it is I used to go to the businesses and I'd look to see if they had deals and sales and specials happening in that moment. Because I'd be like, hey, you have some stuff going on. Let me just put it on the website. I'm just going to take this content. I'm just going to put it on the website for you. I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to take this content. I'm going to take your daily specials. I'm going to take these sales you have on your products. I'm just going to put it on the website for you. I'm going to tell Parkbench to go put it on the website for you. First and foremost. Now, then I'm going to go to them and say, hey, there's a coupon to get new people to try you out. Have you ever offered a promotion to get new people to come try you out? Yeah, what was it? Let's put that up here and let's see if it works. So I, so I, if businesses have done it before, I'm just gonna get them to do it again, especially if it worked. If it didn't work, I'm gonna get them to change it. I'm gonna get them to give me a promotion before I leave, after I've done the interview, I'm gonna get them to give me a promotion and I'm gonna put it up for them. I'm gonna tell Parkbench to put it up for them to put up for ourselves, okay? You just get the information, you email support at Parkbench, we will do it for you, okay? Just get the deal. And you gotta nudge them for it because they may be like, oh, I'm gonna think about it. Hey, I know it, it, it's worthwhile to think about what great promotions you can offer. The worst thing that can happen is that you don't put something up right now because even if you put something up right now, the worst thing that can happen from that is that a bunch of people use it and then you make a bunch of money. And if all of a sudden you're like, whoa, that promotion's way too awesome, I don't need to offer such a great promotion, then you can just log in and change it or tell Parkbench to change it and you can reduce it. But the worst thing that can happen is that you don't put something up right now and you miss out on people who read your interview and then check out your profile, and then there's no incentive for them to try you out. Because that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna promote the interview, you're gonna promote the interview, people are gonna check your business out. And the worst thing that can happen is that there's no promotion for them to try you out. The best thing that can happen is they do click on it, you get a bunch of deals, you get a bunch of people coming in, you make a bunch more money, and then you just change your promotion later. The worst thing is that you don't do anything. That's worse. And then once they come up with a promotion to get a new customer to try them out, I then say, hey, do you, let, let's offer the same thing for them to write a review. Hey, you got this promotion to come try you out? Now write a review about me because a review benefits me, the business owner, and as a thank you, I'm gonna give you this reward for, for coming back in again. You can offer the same promotion or you can try something new. Do you wanna offer the same promotion or you wanna try something new? You wanna offer the same promotion? Great. You want to try something new? Awesome. What do you want to try? And, and I'll start feeding them ideas. 10% off, 20% off, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one 50% off. Uh, I, I just naming deals and just get something to be put up. The key is to get the coupon for review up on the website. And the reason being, once that's done, we will see it. 
we will design special review cards for them and you to hand out to people in the community. So parkmanagecom slash business name, write a review, get a deal. If a business puts up a coupon for a review, we will design these review cards, they're business cards, that we will send to you and the business so that you can print them out. And then they're gonna hand it out to their customers. So let's set your profile up and forget about it. Let's get a review pun up. Let's get these business cards made and printed and then just hand them out. That's all you gotta do. And that's it. It's that simple. Set your profile up, forget it. Get these review cards, hand them out. And that's all you have to do. Keep it simple. Get businesses to put up those promotions. Get, make them do it. Your salespeople, it's in their best interest and they just have fears, doubts, and worries holding them back. They're worried about the time. They're worried about the effort. Just make it sound simple. Help them put up deals. Get it done. That's how you make it happen. Okay? It's free and that's a huge barrier, but you also got to get over their time and their fear of criticism, their fear of failure, all those worries and doubts of you know putting up promotions that they lose a bunch of money on okay so no business should put up a promotion where they're losing money all right okay that's how they will use the website now after saying all that remember they don't need to use the website and you don't need to force people to use the website it's better for them if they use the website it's better for you if they use the website but the key is to get more connections, more relationships, more interviews. That's how you're going to grow their business. They're going to get more business because of it. It will work. And then as it grows and grows and grows, people will eventually start using the website more. It's just a matter of time. And in that bell curve of the world, there's some early adopters who will use the website actively. Then there's the masses who will only use it once the early adopters use it. Then there's the laggards who won't use it until the mass have used it and the early adopters have used it. And you know you can try to push everyone to use it right away, but this is just the way the world works. There's people who won't do it until the early adopters do it, and there's people who won't do it until the masses have done it. And that's just the way the world is. Don't try and fight it. Just focus on the process. Keep moving forward, connecting with more people, doing more interviews, building more relationships, promoting the interviews properly, doing your best to get them to use the website and put up promotions, and then move on and move on. Just do it again. Just do it again. Just do it again. And your brand's going to grow. Your business is going to grow. Their business is going to grow. The website's going to grow. And you're not going to get in your head about all these, you know, trying to force things that just won't happen. All right. All right. Let's move on. Any questions? Put that in the chat box. Otherwise, those are some statistics about social media. Okay. If you want more referrals, you got to use social media. If you want raving fans, social media is the platform to create raving fans. If you want people to promote your brand and refer you business, social media is the channel. Okay. Parkbench is the mechanism to have the conversations and create the content and build the relationships. And then social media becomes the ch one of the channels to now get more people to promote your brand and refer you business. Now, for all of you who aren't getting the results that you want on social media, there's likely three reasons. These are the three reasons why I was not getting results on social media. So they're likely going to be the three reasons why you're not getting results on social media. Okay. Here's what I was not doing. Posting consistently enough. If you want to see the frequency that I post, add me on social media, Grant FS official. If you want to see the kind of content I create, Grant FS official on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn. Okay, you got to promote consistently. Now, consistently does not mean every day. It's great if you can do it every day, but it just means some frequency, some consistency. These platforms have an algorithm that benefits the user that posts posts consistently where they have consistency around once a week, twice a week, three times a week, once a day, two times a day, whatever that frequency is, come up with a frequency. Your minimum should be once a week, once a week. 
you should be able to make a post in 15, 20 minutes, okay? A good high quality post in 15 minutes, okay? Once a week, start with that. Then move on to twice a week, then three times a week, then once a day during the weekdays, then seven days a week, once a day. And you really don't need to do more than one or two times a day. You really don't. The top people in this world that we all look up to on social media, think, oh my God, they're so amazing. They're posting one or two times a day. That's it. High quality posts, one or two times a day. But that's the key. You just got to post every single day. Check out these statistics. 78% of marketers who have used social media for two years have reported increased traffic. So social media is not a short-term strategy to get leads and get traffic. Okay, it is a long-term strategy. Okay, think long-term about this. Pick a frequency that you know you can do for the next two years. And if it's once a week, it's once a week. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, if it's two times a week, it's two times a week. Pick a frequency that you can commit to for two years. And then you will see results. Okay. If you have any questions about anything I'm saying, put it in the chat box. Number two reason why we don't get the results we want on social media. Our content sucks. That's it. Our content sucks. And that's a cheeky way of putting it, but really... Our content is not what our followers want. We post content that we like versus posting content that our audience likes. Okay? They want to want to see your content. Okay? Do unto others as you would be done unto yourself. The golden rule. Scrap that out. That is, that is not the rule, okay? That rule that we grew up with is a, is a stupid rule for social media. It's not do unto others. It's not post on social media as, you know, we like. It's post on social media the way other people like. Don't focus on you. Focus on the people that follow you. What would they like to know from you? And if you want to know that answer, ask them. How many of you have asked questions on social media? That's the best thing about social media. Hey, friends, I have a question. Ask the question. Get responses. Listen to the responses and just do what they want. The best thing in business is the simplicity of business, which is find out what people want, give it to them. That's business. Okay? And here's how delusional a lot of us are. Okay, look at this stat. 80% of companies and professionals are under the impression that they give amazing customer service, that they have amazing content, that they do amazing on social media. And when their customers and their audience was surveyed, only 8% agree. And it's because we are not asking our clients what they want. We're not asking our audience what they want, and we're just not giving it to them. Hey, if you DM me, how quickly do you want me to respond? Do you expect me to respond? Hey, what kind of content do you expect me and appreciate uh, and want me to create? Okay, so you got to get in touch with your clients and your customers and your audience and find out what they think and tell them to be brutally honest. Say, listen, I really want to improve my social media presence and my communication with people. So can you tell me what I do well that I should keep doing? This is one of the best questionnaire templates. Hey, client, past client. Hey, friend, family. Hey, audience, social media. What do I do that you think I should keep doing? Is there anything that you think I should start doing? And is there anything that I do that I should stop doing? Please let me know. I would like to stop doing things that you don't like. I want to start doing things that you would appreciate a local realtor to do for you, even before they you need them. 
And is there anything that I do that you want to make sure that I keep doing? Because there's a lot of voices that tell me to do and do and not do things. And I want to make sure that I keep doing the things that my audience wants me to keep doing. Okay. Here is a template of when you think about content to put on social media, here are the five different types. Okay, this is what your audience is asking of you. They're saying, give me something. Give me a local event that's cool to go check out. Give me a local deal that's cool to check out. Give me a promotion. Give me something. I like things. I like to save money. I like to save time. I like to have more fun. I like to be informed. Give me something. Number two, advise me on something. I need advice on how to increase the value of my home. I need advice on how to, um, on people to use before, during, and after the sale. Okay, give me advice. People are looking to you for advice. Give them advice. Number three, entertain me. Okay, send out some realtor memes. Go find some realtor memes. If you're not funny, use other people's funny. Use other people's content and just reshare funny content that, that makes fun of being a realtor and being an entrepreneur and being a business owner. Make fun of yourself. Entertain me. Okay. Number four, inform me. Okay, inform me about the market. Inform me about houses that are on for sale around me. Inform me about uh, how I should stage my home. Inform me about how to sell my home. Inform me about how to buy a home and negotiate a home. Okay, the more you don't hold back on any of your content. Don't think that there's a there's a, a group of realtors that are in fear that if they share their knowledge that they won't be needed. Okay, and then there's realtors who are sharing all their knowledge and the audience doesn't even read all of it. Therefore, the stuff they do read, they go, wow, this realtor really knows their stuff. I want to use them because that's the reality. People will never consume all the content you create. So share everything and they will forget half of it. They won't see another quarter of it. And the quarter of it that they do see, they're going to be wowed by and they're going to want to contact you. Because the trust is there. Okay? Inform people as if they were your client. Number five, inspire and motivate. Okay? And the way you inspire and motivate is by being vulnerable. Okay? If you can do something, if you can have a great day after something bad just happened, share that story. And that's going to inspire other people to make a great day when something bad happens to them. If you can show how you, you know, went through some challenge and you got through, this is what people want to see. If they, they want to see you working out because they see you achieving your goals. They don't want to see you working out because they want to look at your body. Okay. They don't want to see you working out because they want to look at the exercise technique that you have. They want to see you working out because you're a regular person working hard to achieve their goals, and that gives them a kick in the butt. Okay? Number three, stay in your niche. Okay? There's a lot of realtors in all forms of marketing, print marketing, digital marketing, social media marketing, email marketing, where they're starting to talk about stuff that's not relevant to what you do and it will confuse people about what you do okay who here has thought about or sent or received flyers from a realtor and i know there's companies who do this and it's confusing who here has done the recipes okay who here sends out recipes Okay, you're going to be known as a cook, not a realtor. Okay, you got to think about the content. Now, I know I just I wrote fitness content. If you're trying to teach people, if you're trying to advise or inform people about anything unrelated to real estate 
or the neighborhood or mortgages or the home, improving the home. If you're trying to advise or educate about anything other than those four things, you're confusing people. You can post about you trying to achieve your health goals, your relationship goals, you know, the things in your life, your bucket list, okay? That's about you, okay? That's content you can share. But there are realtors who are trying to educate people or advise people about stuff that has nothing to do with real estate or the neighborhood, okay? Don't do that because now you're just going to confuse people about what you do for a living. The content that you should be educating on, okay, when you want to give people something, advise people on something, or inform people about something. It should be related to real estate, okay, local content in the neighborhood, improving the home, and mortgage. Stay in your lane. There's so much content. I could do a whole other hour about ideas, content ideas related to this space, okay? All you got to do is Google content ideas, and, and, you'll, and you'll find a bunch. Okay, Kate sends out an, a survey. Use Google Forms, SurveyMonkey. Great idea. Thank you, Kate. That is a great idea to send out a survey to your audience. Say, hey, friends and family, I want to get to know you more so I can add more value to you personally so that I don't become one of those agents that sends out a bunch of generic content that's only related to 1% of their database. I want to get to know my database further and send out personalized content to people to help people um, as it relates to you. So here's a quick 10-minute survey so I can get to know you more, so I can serve you before and after um, your real estate you know, needs so that hopefully one day you'll consider me to help you buy and sell a home. All right, do a survey, send it out, okay? Here's some tips, all right? Here are my top 10 tips, all right? Again, there's so much information I could be sharing. I wanted to keep this as a high level, okay? Number one, what, what do people buy? Do people buy a house or do people buy the neighborhood? What do people buy first? What do they buy first, the house or the neighborhood? What do they buy first? Amanda just corrected me on that one. Who here has a spouse who corrects them? And is usually right? Okay. Promote the town, not just the house. Okay. Number two, be yourself. Don't put on a face. If the person you appear to be on social media is not the person that they will see when, you work, when they work with you, then you're going to have some problems, okay? People want to know the person they see on social media is the same as the person they get to work with, okay? Number three, educate your buyers. I talked about all those five ways to add value and educate, educate your buyers and sellers. And remember, here's a really cool stat, okay? Because everyone's like, sellers, sellers, sellers. So what is it? 16% of buyers are first-time buyers. 16. That means 83% of buyers are also sellers. 83% of buyers are also sellers. Only 16% of buyers are just buyers. So focus on buyers and sellers, and you will get more sellers. Okay, chat with your followers, DM people, say thank you to people who comment on your posts. All right, respond to your comments, good or bad, respond to them. Thank you. Okay, DM the people. Don't just post about your listings. Video. Now, most of you guys are into video because you're doing park bench, but don't forget about other forms of video. You know what your clients think about and ask about in the process. Create videos around that content. 
Okay. Number eight, never assume you're only connecting with the first time buyers. I said that already. Number nine, create content that your audience likes, not you. Create content your audience likes. And number 10, once people are your client, stay in touch with them. Continue to DM them. Continue to help them and serve them after the transaction, and they will promote your brand and refer you business. Now, a lot of agents have come to us, and they've asked, can Parkbench help? Okay? And if you have any questions about anything I shared, if you have a specific question you want to ask, hey, would you do this? Hey, how would you do this? Hey, what do you do on this platform? If you have any questions right now, put them in the chat box. Questions about social media, questions about Park Bench, put them in the chat box. But a lot of agents have asked us how we can help because I have seen my following grow a lot over the last two years from me finally figuring out social media. We get lots of leads through social media. I get lots of brand awareness. I'm now speaking because of it. My business has grown because of it. We've really figured it out, okay? Because I, the things I need on social media are the same things that you need. Here's some examples of some of the content. So we have a social media team, okay? If you could see, look, look, I'm gonna tilt my screen, okay? Look, look how, look at these people. These, Damien, tilt your head forward, okay? These people. Okay, look at them. They look like social media people. They look like marketers. Okay, they see things that we don't see. Seriously, they just think of things that we don't think of. They say th see things that we don't see in terms of how to create posts and create pictures and all this stuff. I don't quite get it. I just know that they're really good at it and they can do it for you. Okay. So if you want to get help with social media because you just know you won't do it, like this guy, okay, then we can help you do it. Here's some examples of content we've created. Here's captions, okay? We want to be your marketing team. You know, a couple weeks ago, we did that um, mastermind on how to do digital marketing, how to do lead generation, buyer lead generation, seller lead generation, and retargeting. And if you know you're not going to be able to figure it out on your own and you want it done for you, we now have a marketing division. This is the evolution of Park Branch towards my big goal of being your partner and always shapes and forms and helping you grow your business, helping you operate your business, being your marketing team, being your tech team. All right, we got new stuff rolling out soon. Um, that continues with this thread, but a couple of masterminds ago, it was about if you want help with lead generation, we can do that for you. Just let me know in the chat box. If you want help with social media, we can do it for you. Okay, here are some of the tools that we use. So if you want to use these tools and figure out how to use these tools, this is what we use to create really great content. If you know that you're not going to do this or your team's not going to do this, but you want to focus on getting more millennial clients, you want to build your brand and get more brand exposure, you want to create more raving fans, you want to become an influencer in your local area, you've got to use social media. So either you implement the stuff I said today and use these tools, or if you use us, it's going to be easier and cheaper than hiring your own marketing person. That's, again, the goal of our service is to be your marketing person as if we were sitting beside you in your office and you don't have to worry about hiring them and training them and managing them because we just know what you need. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go over here. Here's a table. Okay. Of rates. Okay. And for you all today, okay. I'm offering discounts that if you want us to, because here's the way social media works. Okay, it takes time. Like a human is going to do this. There's no technology. This is a human creating high quality posts for your social media. So you just tell us, and you can change this. This is a month to month, okay, contract because we just know you're going to like it, and you're just going to want to say, hey, I want to do one post a day. I want to do two posts a day. I want to do one post a week. You know, this is what my this was in my budget. You know, the more money I make, the more social media I want to create. So I'm going to start with, you know, one post a week 
on one platform and I'm going to scale up to doing one post a week on two platforms. And then maybe I'm going to do two posts a week on two platforms. And eventually I'm going to go three posts a week on three platforms. Okay. The recommended is that you do it on three platforms, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. These are the top three platforms to do social media on. If you can add a fourth one, it's going to be YouTube. Okay. Those four, they're the big four. So if you want help, you just tell us, this is how much I want you to do this month. Do it. And for you all here today, I'm going to, if you um, do a two platform plan, a three platform plan or a four platform plan. Okay. Okay. You just tell us the platforms you want us to do social media on for you. Okay. You pick your plan. Okay. And then we go do it. And if you want to change it in the future months, because you make more money, you want to do more social media, great. You can just tell us. We'll just bill you on the new plan. You want to scale back because, you know, you're in a little of a, a famine or you're going on vacation. Okay, we can scale it back. Okay, this is a really cool service. It's just like your marketing person. Imagine having a marketing person in your office. This You would just be telling them, hey, do one post a day for this month. Hey, do one post a week for this month. Hey, do it on four platforms this month. Hey, do it on two platforms this month. Okay, my recommendation is that you pick a plan, okay, and then you stick to something, okay? Think about two years, okay? Know that you'll, you won't do any less than this, and then hopefully you can do more over time because the more you do, the more brand exposure you'll get, the more followers you'll get, um, and the bigger your business will be, okay? So here's the stuff that we can do for you. We can, you can not send us any content, okay? I'm gonna give you a slide where you can send us content and we can work with that content and make great content from it. Or you can just say, do something great for me. We'll interview you to get, you, get a sense of your tonality and your brand and the kind of stuff that you want. And then once you do that interview, hey, we can, we can create a bunch of content for you without you doing anything. All right, if you want us to do that, we can do that. We can create a bunch of picture posts, quote posts, information posts. We're going to find photos, okay? Um, we can create content without you helping us. Now, if you can send us stuff, it's going to be even better. If you can send us photos, and we'll tell you, we'll give you instructions, okay? Part of our service, because obviously I can only explain so much during, you know, these masterminds. Um, we will, we will give you step-by-step -step instructions. Send us this. Do this. Do this. If you can do this, that would be awesome. If you can do this, that would be awesome. And that will be take photos of this. Send us statistics about this. Give us quotes around this. Send us videos that don't require editing, okay? If you want to send us your interviews, if you want to send us videos that you make or that we tell you to make, as long as there's no editing required. I'm going to get to, if you need video editing help, um, how to do that. But if you just send us video content where there's no editing required, we can just get it done for you. We can just create the post, optimize it for YouTube, optimize it for Facebook, all that stuff, okay? If you send us really long videos, really long interviews, really long um, uh, videos that you did of neighborhoods or properties, we can cut that video up, okay? We're not going to edit it and change it, but we can cut those long videos up into little micro videos and posts, okay? So when, when, you, when you tell us that you want us to do three posts a week on three platforms, okay, we can either do it this way, this way, okay? Um, and whatever you send us is whatever we'll be able to do, okay? If you want to do YouTube, if, if when you look at the platforms that you want us to do stuff on, and you're like, I want YouTube to be one of the platforms I focus on, okay? Then you have to send us videos longer than one, one minute, Short videos are really good for Instagram and Facebook. YouTube videos longer than one minute. The best length for YouTube videos is two to four minutes. The next best video length is 10 to 20 minutes. The reason being is you look at the filters on YouTube and you filter videos by length and their, their frame is two to four minutes, 10 to less than 20 minutes, less than four minutes. And then if you want really long video, 30 to 45 minutes like I do sometimes, um, that's the next best frame. Okay, the other reason why these are the types of lengths of videos, uh, long form video still works because people are in the car. 
and they want to listen or watch video. People are in bed and they want to listen to watch video. Okay, YouTube is the new TV. I don't want to watch four-minute videos all the time on YouTube. Sometimes I want to sit down and watch a good 20-minute video or a good 45-minute video. Okay, so if you want to do YouTube, this is what um, we'll be asking for you from. Now, if you want us to do video editing, okay, that's another thing that if you want a professional videographer to do video editing, okay, the, the easiest way to do this is just for you to send us the video, send us what you want us to do, send us your vision, okay, and then we will bill by the minute. Now, the hourly rate is what you see on the screen, but we bill by the minute, all right? So we'll prorate it. So if it takes 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 23 minutes, 29 minutes, and we'll use a time management app to show you what we did and how long it took, all right? We're not here to, um, you know, gouge our clients. We want you to create more content. We want to make it as easy and as affordable as possible to create video content. Okay, a lot of companies will just charge you an hour even though it took you 15 minutes. We're just going to bill you by the minute. All right. Okay, so in the chat box, if you want, um, if you know the plan you want, put that in the chat box. If you have any questions, okay, email, okay, to book a time with Damien at parkbench.com, okay? And you can set up a call. He's heading up the social media division because he's heading up my social media and everything that he has done for me, I imagine you will want done for you. Um, and so he's the one who's done it all. So he knows how to do it. And we're building out a team um, to, to do it for all of you if you want our help, okay? So if you want our help, Email him or just put your plan in the chat box right now. Tell us what you want in the chat box right now, and then we can reach out to you um, to get it uh, set up and so you can get started. If there's any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I want to give you more time today to get onto social media and start making some posts. Okay, but if you have any questions about social media, if you have any questions about Park Bench, if you have any questions about the service, say so in the chat box. Lisa asks, can we help with website and branding? Um, we will soon. Not yet. That is the next piece that we want to add. We just don't have that yet. Um, being a website company, because of the costs for MLS data, is intense. So that's one of the last things that I want to do for agents because I need more resources to pay because we're nationwide. We're across Canada, across the United States. In order for me to serve agents in every state, in every province, I have to pay. Check this out. I have to pay. This is the problem with the real estate industry for innovation. I have to pay. 1.2 million dollars a year to get the listing data. Can you believe it? It's crazy. Okay. Orlando Realtor Conference 21st, 22nd. Which one is that? Is that NAR in November? No, NAR is in San Francisco this year, I think. What's the Orlando conference on the 21st, 22nd? I don't think so. Isn't there one Seattle on the 21st, 22nd, the, the NAR IOI? Anyways, so I have website providers. If you would like a list of website providers that we approve of, um, then write so in the chat box. If you'd like some recommendations for certain services, put that in the chat box. When it comes to branding, okay, I imagine that means design, logos, all that stuff, right? So, Lisa, um, email me specifically with what you're looking for. Be as detailed as possible, and then I can send you my list of recommended providers for those things. Okay, we're slowly 
getting into everything because we want to make sure that if we offer a new service, we are as good or better than every other service out there and more affordable, okay? So the two services that we have to offer is buyer lead generation, seller lead generation, retargeting, and social media management. These are the things that we do better than other people. That is my belief. Um, and we will be able to do it for you, uh, for all of our park bench clients, more affordably than uh, most other companies because you're already our client. There's a whole bunch of cost savings that happen when we, when we do more for the same client versus another company who has to tr pay all these fixed expenses for a brand new client. And, and that's, that's why it's a race. We are in a race to be an all-in-one company to help you start, grow, and operate your business because you will save money by working with one vendor and hopefully you all love our customer service and you love working with our team so that you know that if you get more things done through Parkbench, then you know it's going to get done well, it's going to get done right, it's going to get done with amazing service because um, that's super important. If you want something done for your business, you got to make sure it gets done, it gets done right, on time, with amazing service. Um, so hopefully, you know, one of my idols is Richard Branson, and, and he started going into other industries because he created an aura around you know, Virgin and anything to do with Virgin had a certain experience. And I want more park bench services like Virgin services because I want people to recognize that, hey, if it's park bench anything, I know the kind of experience I'm going to have. Uh, and I like that experience. Okay. Any questions about social media or our services? Let me know in the chat box. I'm going to quickly read through the chat box just to make sure. There are three local sites on Facebook addressing local info, events, and news. I am competing with them. Should I be on all those sites, Candice? Yes. You should be members of all those groups. And you can email support to ask them, okay, how we can uh, get data from those sources of information. Okay, you absolutely should be on those groups. You absolutely should promote your interviews on those groups. You should promote your park bench content on those groups. Okay, you're not competing with them, right? You guys own the Google for neighborhoods and all these Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, and websites that are about your community. They're just a source of information, and we want all of it to be on park bench. And you should be on all of it. All right. Santiago, thank you. That is, that's the point. We know that step one is use Parkbench to start your business, to get it going, to get established, to build relationship and referral-based business. There will at some point be a limit to that, or if you want to scale it even faster, then you're going to want to invest um, in other forms of marketing and advertising or services to help you have more time to serve the clients that you have and more time to start more conversations, more time to prospect, more time to do the things you cannot outsource. And we want to be your team that helps you grow your business and helps you scale it out. Um, so hopefully over the next year, you're going to see a lot more services and opportunities for us to help you with your business. All right. It is 12 on the dot. I don't often end at one hour on the dot, but it looks like we can today. So let's do it. Go use social media, email support if you have any questions. Email us if you have uh, questions about our services, if you want to use them, uh, and go have fun being a local leader.
See you next week.